Hi, g'day guys, VK4NGA Glenn with you. I just want to show you um, a really cool X reflector. Um, this is a XLX299 out of New Zealand, and uh, you can see the uh, web address there. So that's the dashboard. You can see that um, there's uh, already been a bit of activity on there. Um, I've had a bit of a uh, short cure so um, previous to, uh, to running this video. What I really want to do is show you today just how good these X reflectors work and this is just a really cool reflector. Uh, it's run by Phil uh, ZL2RO out of New Zealand and um, he's done a great job building this reflector. It really works well and uh, we're very fortunate today that we've actually timed this so we're going to uh, get fill on air, and um, it's not not or it's unusual to be able to get the owner of a reflector on air to actually discuss how they work and uh, what they're connected to. So there's some modules here. Um, we're going to come up on um, module B, um, which is linked to Brandmeister Tor Group five three zero two nine, and then. Um, we might switch over to another module, I'll uh, let Phil decide that, um, but um, uh, he's going to have Peanut organised, um, the Peanut app organised on uh, a couple more modules. Currently Peanut, you can see there, is on on the uh, <coughs> ROAR, um, so that's uh, connected to YSF 75161 and Talk Group 53080 as well as uh, Peanut so that's on Module R so guys you got to get into these X reflectors they are really good it's really opened my eyes uh, I, I come in on DMR and D-Star um, so hopefully I can show you the difference in audio and the transcoding effect but these uh, these reflectors really work well and they really open the uh, the uh, D-Star experience and the DMR experience to a whole new level because it connects um, multi-modes together and uh, you can see here this is what he's transcoding so we've got D-Star, Brandmeister, DMR and then what's down the bottom there, uh, YSX so how cool is that? Alright, well we're just uh, I'm on uh, 299B so I'm just going to key that up And then we'll just uh, give him a call. ZL2RO, VK4NGA, calling you about there, Phil. Yeah, VK4NGA, ZL2RO, Good afternoon. Yeah, g'day, Phil. Good to hear you on. Uh, thanks for um, joining in. This is uh, excellent to be able to get. Uh, someone that uh, runs and owns a reflector on uh, on video to uh, just uh, explain what it's about. So I'll put it over to you and uh, if you can just give us a bit of a rundown on what the reflector does that would be awesome. Back to you VK for NGA. Yeah no worries Glenn, I'll try and do the best I can. Okay so this is a XLX299, that's a New Zealand multi-mode reflector, XLX reflector. So being multi-mode, it can transcode DMR, D-Star, Fusion, and it also has Peanut, which is one of the new crazes around there in the uh, digital amateur world, which I can explain a little bit more. So the reflector roughly has been running for just over two years, and um, it's been a project of mine that I've always wanted to have here and set out I'd like to say I'll probably the first to actually bring up an XLX reflector in this country, so that's pretty cool on that basis. So uh, Module B is consisting of mostly ZL traffic and occasional DX as well. Also has a talk group attached to it, which is for DMR, which is talk group 53029. And also other uh, reflectors that are connected Phil's on uh, D-Star at the moment. Module A and B is uh, reflector XLX530, which is down in the South Island. I've just done peak. I've just done peak. 
Okay, let's have a listen on DMR. around the world. We have uh, five double one, which is on module A, which is over in Europe. And we also have a UK reflector, which is XLX 994, which is on module U. We also have XLX 389, which is the, uh, the big one in Australia, which we have uh, QNZ. And as I said about the brand master, uh, the modules that have brand master to them is B, C, Q, R, T, and Z. So I hope that's explaining. We also have a few repeaters connected to module B. And um, I'll, I'll read all those off and I'll just unkey. Here's module B. So there's a list of uh, repeaters. So we have a reflector up north in Parkery, which is ZL1HXD, which is uh, run by Bowden ZL1HX. And I'm pretty sure he's uh, there uh, looking in the background. Uh, we also have, this is there, uh, ZL1 OTD, which is a reflector up north as well, and the Kuiper Heads, I believe, of New Zealand, and that is uh, hosted and ran by ZL1 OTS Island. Then there's uh, another repeater in the Bay of Plenty, uh, ZL1 IBD, that's hosted by, I believe, the Tipuki Radio Club. Um, so those are the uh, repeaters that are connected up to this reflector. So I'll pass it uh, back to you there, Glenn, VK4NGA, uh, for any other questions, over. Okay, let's go to turn the volume down, otherwise I'm going to create a loop. Uh, ZL2RO VK4NGA. You still got me there, Phil? I just uh, want to make sure I'm getting through before I carry on. Thanks very much for the explanation. That was really good, really good. Um, like I said before, there's nothing like getting the uh, the owner to uh, explain how it works. So that's really cool. I also took the opportunity to listen to you on DSTAR and DMR. So um, the uh, the people looking at this video can uh, see the difference. And um, yeah, work, the transcoding is working really well. Super good. Yeah, thanks for the explanation, Phil. I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, we, uh, we've had a look at the dashboard already. So uh, I'll just uh, go over to the dashboard now, guys. There's the uh, dashboard. You can see that, um, that I'm up there. So, and you can see Phil there. You can see uh, VK4MY, uh, Mike, uh, ZL1HX as well. Uh, he was uh, on D Star on his 5100. So yeah, I'll just put it open to over to any other stations that uh, that want to join in. Uh, we're just recording a YouTube video on XLX299 there. So is there any other stations on uh, DMR? Please go ahead. Uh, this is VK4NGA in the group. Uh, this is VK4NGA, uh, and this is VK4 uh, Mike Yankee, uh, up in Bungaberg, and uh, operating through uh, 299 Bravo, of course, over here in uh, Hastings, New Zealand. Uh, what we're we'll signal coming into here from uh, from you, uh, uh, there, Glenn, and uh, also uh, Phil. So Mike's on DMR. Uh, 662 uh, DMR handheld here into a hotspot, uh, so it's all working uh, working a treat. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, VK4NGA, VK4 Mike Yankee, over. That's really good. VK4MY, VK4NGA in the group. Thanks, Mike, for coming back. Great copy on uh, DMR. Absolutely superb. Is there any other stations that uh, that want to, um, I was going to say check in. We're not running a net, but uh, want to join the group. This is VK4NGA in the group. Standing by. Yeah, okay, uh, VK4NGA, uh, Mike
uh, ZL1 HXD up on the top of Cape Rodney is uh, is also it, that belongs to me. And um, uh, the uh, the frequency for that one is uh, a 145 decimal 450 with a uh, negative 600 split. That's for uh, anybody in, uh, in in the Auckland region. Uh, that would like to uh, link up to that uh, one, by all means. That would like to uh, link up to that one, by all means, uh, please use it. It's uh, there for the public to use, or there for uh, uh, the, uh, the ham fraternity to use, and uh, it's certainly a pleasure. Uh, That's transcoding, but he's on D-Star, using his 5100. the Auckland district. It gives uh, connections with uh, from Auckland all the way through to uh, the Bay of Islands, so, uh, uh, north of Wongaray. So, uh, so that uh, does range all the way down to as far as... Uh, uh, Mary Mary in the south, so uh, it's not too bad a, uh, a, a position that it's in up there. Okay, Glenn, back to you. Uh, VK4 NGA, ZL1 Hotel X ray in the group. Yeah, ZL1 Hotel X ray in the group, VK4 NGA. Thanks, uh, Bowden, that's great. Thank you very much um, for that explanation. That's really cool. Is there any other stations want to join in uh, before we wrap this video up? This is VK for NGA in the group. Drop the mic. Okay, um, back to you, Phil ZL2RO VK for NGA. We'll just uh, do our finals, then we'll uh, wrap this up. Uh, back to you, there, Phil. I just wanted to give a quick demonstration of module R with the peanut, if, if you've got a bit of time. Uh, peanut to D-Star or even peanut to DMR. So the talk group for that, if you're on DMR, is 53080, but we can just do D-Star and peanut if you want to, if you want to queue us wider R of 299, which is the um, RAW, the Rotarians of Amateur Radio module that I host for them. If you would like to do that, uh, Glenn, we can quickly, do, quickly queue us wide over. Thanks, Phil. Just gets better, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go there. So we'll go to uh, 299R. So VK4NGA QSY. Okay, Glenn, we'll go to 299R. Uh, Glenn, we'll go to 299R. Okay, 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 Glenn, we'll NGA, VK4 NGA, this is ZL2 Radio Oscar on pink. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, ZL2 RA, VK4 NGA, um, excellent copy on peanut. The audio is different, but it's uh, fully readable there, Phil. It's going really well. Back to you. Yeah, QSL, well, <coughs> excuse me, um, I'm coming to you on an Android phone, so the reason why the audio is different is because this, because the microphone sensitivity on these cell phones, as you probably already know, are very sensitive. And if you're in a windy spot, well, you might as well give it away. However, the peanut app is absolutely awesome. So the transition from peanut uh, to D Star is great. It also will trans you can also do the DMR if you want to, and also fusion on this on this reflector as a YZ reflector. So. Um, yeah, so I run a peanut server as well, and um, there's some more exciting things going to be happening with that. So I'll, I'll pass it back to you, and um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. VK4 NGA, ZL2. Yeah. I'm running in terminal mode too, guys, um, so no uh, no RF at the moment, straight into the, uh, the Pi 3B plus there. Okay. Is it L2 RO VK for NGA? Thanks, Phil. That is excellent. That works so well. What a good reflector you've got running. Man alive, that's just great. All right, um, is there anybody else that wants to join in? And then we'll uh, we'll um, wrap this up. And uh, we don't want to make the video too long, but hopefully uh, everybody's enjoyed watching this because uh, this is probably the first time that um, we've been able to have the opportunity to um, demonstrate just how good these reflectors really are. So back to you there, Phil. Is it L2 RO? VK for NGA, we'll just leave a pause if anybody else wants to join in there.
Yeah, VK4MY, VK4NGA in the group. Thanks, Mike. Um, thanks for participating. Really appreciate you making the time to do this. Back to you, Phil. Uh, Phil, you're up. Thanks, Phil. Uh, Phil, you're up. Thanks, Phil. 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 You're